<laughs> and with the fabulous Sanu Phillips, the lead magnet lady. I tell you what, absolute wonderman in school teaching, marketing, just doing so many wonderful things for CEOs, coaches, just helping them with their businesses, helping them create that perfect lead magnet. So tell everyone about yourself. Thank you so much for inviting me to share with you and to have this chat with you. It's wonderful. Thank you. So I'm from India. I'm from one of the southernmost states in India, Kerala, which is a tropical paradise, if I can say so. So, uh, so it's beaches, backwaters, hills, hill stations, lots of all green, good stuff. And again, it's India, so you can expect some population and stuff too. <laughs> Ah uh, yes. Uh, so, so telling about what I do, I right now help coaches and consultants get their lead magnet uh, design set up, and also help them in launching their programs, which is on top of the lead magnet to launch process. So I do all the tech and design things, which frustrates them and get them, uh, keep them from holding them back. So that's what I do. So I have been a digital marketing consultant for a long time, but I lose joy in what I was doing. So last year in 2019 beginning, that's when I found this uh, lead magnet. I made a pivot and focused on started focusing on just lead magnets and very soon my clients started calling me lead magnet lady so that's how this name came about lead magnet lady so now i'm from like lead magnet to launch queen that's the thing that i'm being called <laughs> so i had to i had to get you on here because obviously a lot of people really do struggle with a lead magnet and not only that as well a lot of people don't know what a lead magnet is, do they? They don't know. Yes. So this lead magnet, sometimes it's a marketing term because it is dark and like, um, you know, lead magnet. So it's, um, uh, it's nothing else. It's a free resource that you give in exchange for name and email address. So there is a transaction happening. Like you are, when someone comes to your website or the landing page where you give the free lead magnet or free resource, they sign up using giving their name and email address and you give them the resource. So there is a value transaction happening. So there is a, uh, you know, that's when, uh, when they sign up, they get added to your list and they are allowing you or giving you permission to start a new way of communicating with them through email. So that is the reason, primary reason of having a lead magnet is it allows you to have a new channel of communication with your audience. So you uh, get the opportunity to nurture them. So because you know one thing, uh, the, again, there are some psychological triggers that happens in the back end. The reason why it is called the lead magnet, as the name indicates, it's lead magnet. So it's attracting leads to your business. So even though everyone who signs up to your list might not be exactly solid hot leads, but there will be leads. So sometimes they might buy from you very so very fast, but some people will be the for a long time but only when they build up the trust and connection they will come and they, they will say i've been watching you i've been reading your emails for some time now it's time for me to start working with you so you are opening a new channel of communication through having the lead magnet getting them sign up and that opens that new way of communicating so that's the primary reason for having a lead magnet so i it's hope that first isn't it so it's like no like and trust, you know. It's yes, exactly. So, so when you talk about the reasons, this, as uh, Trina said, it is the no. Uh, these three things are a must for sales to happen. Like people buy from others who they trust. We don't buy from anyone who we. Uh, at least uh, sometimes I do buy. In, uh, there are impulsive buying habits. I do have it, but at least. <laughs> At least I do go through the reviews that someone has said about it or some of my, my friends suggested it. But there needs to be that trust, a connection, and that needs to be built up. So having this lead magnet is an easy way that you can establish or rather position your authority. And you can, you know, there are ways that you can bring in your personal stories, your uh, skills, experiences to build that connection because we like to work with people we 
kind of have a, that rapport or some sort of connection and an intuition kind of thing. So it's an easy way to have that all included in the lead magnet. So you can position as that authority person, have the trust, have the connection, and that's the precondition. So these are the big, or you can say, the big reasons of why you need to have a lead magnet. Yeah. And I like that because, you know, what you were just saying there about, you know, getting to know, having that rapport with that person. You know, I don't buy from people who I'm not connected to. And mm. that, that's, you know, unless it's like, you know, a big company, I don't buy from mm. a lot of people who, who I'm not connected to. I would have yeah. to be connected to someone to actually buy from someone to know them. Yeah. I think that's a massive thing, isn't it? To know yeah. someone. No, yes. you know, in in this online world, because now we are living mostly, um, mm. you know, in this online world, social media and all those things. So this lead magnet can be, you know, okay, we'll talk about this in a bit. But lead magnet allows you to be that uh, person when they think of, okay, I need this. Okay, I saw that thing with source that lady shared or that guy shared. So maybe she knows more about it. So I can. You check that person out so there is an internal dialogue that can be prompted when you put on the lead magnet and that person connects with the uh, value that you have provided and they remember you that is the thing and again i will tell you don't create a lead magnet just for the sake of creating a lead magnet that is one of my biggest pet peeves if you can say so everyone is saying all the coaches are saying you need to have a lead magnet okay i'm jumping ahead and creating a lead magnet so no you don't have to you know when you're creating a lead magnet it has to be something that your audience really need it has to provide value and i will share a yeah. formula that will help you in that making sure that you are creating the right kind of lead magnet so make sure that don't so out of the bat, I will say this, this is one thing, a precondition for the lead magnets. So if you are just starting out and you don't have a client base, you don't need a lead magnet. Okay. You don't need a lead magnet. Okay. Don't start with lead magnet. I have seen coaches advising, okay, now you have started the business. Let's build the tribe using a lead magnet. No. Why? Because, you know, from the lead magnet, if you're creating the offer, there might be an alignment mismatch. Oh, because wow. there is an alignment problem that happens because your offer is not validated yet. There are no buyers yet. I see. So <laughs> just to recap for anyone who's watching this, is that if you are just starting out in business, there's no point in having a lead magnet whatsoever because it's not going to do you any good because you're not, you're not got anyone. You're not got any followers or anything. And yes. it's not a way to build your following. That's yes. amazing. Because I didn't even think that myself. Yeah. So you need to first, the first as your business thing, you need money in the bank. That is the thing. You need money in the bank and you need to have a solid offer that um, like people are buying and you are getting the you know more referrals or you know uh, you know that is something which I did for the lead magnets I didn't have you know very recently I launched my own lead magnet okay for the first one year I even uh, becoming the lead magnet lady I didn't have a lead magnet wow okay. <laughs> the lead magnet lady with no lead magnet <laughs> yes I might so have it that is when I found uh, and realized that it's time for me to have that lead magnet out there. I can get that sign ups, I have the tribe, I need that for my funnels and uh, building the next next yeah. level of growth. Till then, I didn't okay. I'm not saying I didn't. I, you know, as I said, I've been a digital marketing consultant, so for my agency websites, for my other websites, I've had lead magnets. I'm talking about my lead magnet thing, okay. So for the lead magnet thing, the first whole year, I didn't have a single lead magnet. Yeah. I just yeah. had my... Just mainly, for that, just mainly for that business that you didn't have a yeah. lead magnet. Yes. And I can see, you know, I can see now why as to what you were saying before. Because you were just building that following. You wanted the cash first. You wanted yeah. to get the people in first. And you wanted the raving fans. Then to create something, that would then have the lead magnet going to... Yes, exactly. So yes. that's when the alignment is right because now you know where it is leading. So that's so we will come to the formula. So that is not formula. 
actually the exercise. I want every one of you to do this exercise, which is a, a simple exercise if you are struggling with lead magnetization. So I follow the process of reverse engineering and tapping. Okay, start with the end in mind. Okay, so we have this offer. That is why I said you have to validate. You have to have a solid offer. And we are starting from that offer. So you have to have that first. That is the first step. Second step is I want you to write down all the transformations or the results that your offer gives to your audience. Yeah. Like all the things that happens inside. It can be, uh, it, you know, it can be any sort of services or any sort of coaching or whatever be the thing that you are selling. Definitely you are giving them something, right? Yes, yeah. List out everything, the outcomes. And then the third step is finding out the problems or the issues that people mm -hmm. are coming to you with. They are asking these questions again and again. Or, you know, you have to uh, dig in sometimes if you are starting out and, you know, okay, I said that you are having some offers, but still you don't have that much audience. You can check out the Facebook communities. That is one go-to place that I did. Big Facebook communities. And I went and searched lead magnets, uh, launch questions. I searched those groups and I could see people asking questions. For example, if you are a life coach or if you are someone who helps in stress management, you can go to a Facebook community where your ideal client is, ask, I'm having this problem or I'm stress management tips. And some people will be asking questions in relation to their problem. I'm having a very bad day. You can phrase it something like that. So there will be people who will be sharing their life. And yep. that is gold, literally gold. What I do is I copy that content and paste it in a Word doc because that is your ideal client's verbatim, their language. And if you use that in your copy, that's the magic happens because you are speaking their language. Okay. Yeah, and that's, and that's really good as well because it's not, um, it's not, you're speaking, you know, you're speaking in their language but you're not, um, because I've seen this, I've seen this loads of times with, with many coaches as well. And I don't know about you, but, but I've seen many times these um, almost like really serious struggling language. Um, yes. And it really makes, you know, for some people, they feel a bit guilty and shameful. Um, but, you know, but kind of using their, you know, their question. I'm not and, saying don't yeah. use their like their names or anything. I know some people, uh, yes. I'm not a great proponent of using negative language that way. So, but I do bring in the problem point. I get yes. your point. Yes. I think that's really good. And I think, I think that's very, I think what you're saying is really great. And you even touched on just then was, you know, a lot of people use really, really, really negative language. Um, I remember watching one lady, I'd stopped following her because her language was so negative. There was yeah. hardly any like positive points to bring someone like kind of, yeah, but this is, you know, this is what you get. You could be more consistent. You can take action. You can have all these things. Um, yeah. so I completely, I, you know, I'm not a person who pushes I, the fear and pushes the fear of this is not happening. Some come and join me. Come and join my program. That's not the way it is. Yeah, yeah. what I find here is finding out exactly what they are going through, what their problems are, because we are driving deep inside their head. That's when you can, you start, you know, conversation even before they say something you know what they're going through and you can say I understand you that's yeah. the point I and understand you. a lot of people want really sometimes is is understanding you yes. know is there's way as you know as to where they are and you know in the position that you know in the position that they're in and I yes. you know great, great what you're saying as well and that you bring in the positive aspect of it as well yes. you yes. said um how would you easily identify your... So we'll come to that. So now we are collecting these problems or other issues. Some might be from your website or maybe yeah. some people ask you questions on your Facebook community. You can find those questions, that pressing problems that you are having. And very soon, you will start identifying 
some recurring themes, some questions that is repeatedly asked. So yeah. for me, I will tell you this question, lead magnet ideation is a recurring thing I get. Okay, so everyone wants to create a lead magnet, but don't know what to create. I don't have any idea. I don't have any idea what to create. This is what I hear. And I created the free lead magnet ideation planner. That is my lead magnet um, based on this. So this, uh, okay, I will say this step, what I'm explaining here is that, but much more detail I'm going in the. But this is the starting point actually in that lead magnet. So I am sharing everything here. So. Okay. But the thing is, uh, you know, that's a start. So I identified that pressing problem, what's common, what's the recurring thing that's getting. So I could share everything about it, about the lead magnet creation and setting up, but that would overwhelm the people. But their common struggle is getting this idea. So once this idea is there, okay, so I created, so that is how you the recurring idea and the solution is, finding the lead magnet idea. So that's a transformation. Now they are struggling with the idea. Now working through my lead magnet, they have this idea. So that's boom. So I have this idea. I know what to create. I know what's this idea. So a one transformation, one bit of solution is provided. It's not all encompassing, but yeah, it's one question, one solid answer in detail. That's really that's brilliant because you're not giving away like all your, you know, your wonderful magic that you yes. do for anyone who's watching this. Because obviously, they're, you know, they're super talented and stuff. And, you know, they have all this amazing stuff and amazing tools. Yes. But as you said, it's one idea, answer the one idea, and, a, but in detail. That, that's one, a well, that, that is something which people, you know, how much should I give away? And I, if I give it all away, you don't have to give it all away. You well, can ask that one question, but you can answer in as much detail as you can. You can go yeah. in depth. Give them the best. So what I answered here is the basic thing. I'm going in depth in my lead magnet. That's the thing. So because I do the session, so I want to give value. So I give that. So, but at the same time, my lead magnet has some more steps so that they get the concrete picture. Okay, so, so that is my lead magnet. And now the good thing about my lead magnet is this lead magnet leads to my program, the, my training bundle, where I cover everything from the lead magnet creation, from the ideation, content development, design, and setting up. I cover everything in the training bundle. So I... I want this idea now for a person who has the idea now they're stuck oh I have this idea now what's the next step obvious step is creating it and setting up so I have this training bundle so that is why I said start with the end in mind what you are selling from the you develop or narrow it down to the lead magnet I hope that makes sense yeah that makes total sense that makes total sense so what you're really essentially doing is is that when you sign up you're then giving them part of the answer. Um, yeah. But then if you want to carry on, then you get this bundle. So you can take your idea and you can make it into, you know, you can turn it into your own, you know, your own, yeah. but, you know, your yeah. own. Yeah. So, so that's the thing. So if you have a program or an online course that you are selling or a book that you are selling, you can take one chapter or one module of that and convert it into a lead magnet. That's an easy way, if I can say so. Easy that's way. <laughs> that's a great way to book, isn't yeah. it? That's amazing. Yeah. I mean, so, I've books now, and I could like I've got some videos of me just reading some of the chat, you know, like a chapter. Yes. So you can just create that and. From there, you can sell the next level of thing, which is your program or sports or the book, whatever is the next level in the funnel. So place it. Always have the end in mind. That makes the selling process easy. So otherwise, as I said, if you start with the lead magnet and yeah. then the offer, there might be the problem with this alignment. And you might not get the direct action of the selling thing won't happen. Yeah, I get you. I get you. So, so it has to be with the end in mind. You need to know what it is that you want to sell. Yes. What it is that you, you know, you want to give, you know, pass on to someone. Yeah. So you got 
already and mm. that's when you create your lead magnet yes um, i like that so what's the winning formula for highly highly converting lead magnet yeah. well, well that's the next step in that so yeah. as uh, you know once you have this idea now when you're starting to developing the content you need to have this formula in mind so the formula yeah. is like this the value plus action which gives to transformation which gives to result and leads to which is equal to your offer i will say it again okay, okay. value plus action equal to value yeah. plus action that is two things value yeah. plus action equal to yes yeah. sir sorry oh my god i got it converse uh, i will say again sorry i'm sorry value no. plus action which yes. gives to transformation which yes. gives to result which gives to which should lead to your offer i will explain once we really? have that okay so uh, i will also comment in that uh, when you share i will keep this formula yes. somewhere okay so this formula is value value is what i said your lead magnet should solve a problem yes. it should have the solution don't create as, as i said create a lead magnet just for that there needs to be value because i have seen this happen again and again like mm -hmm. people make a big buzz or big hangama about the lead magnet launching and um, finally when you download it it's nothing it's rubbish like so you what happens is you are literally repelling the people uh, from your world when you offer you know not good enough or rather yeah, some standard yeah. lead magnet so my suggestion is don't create it and i am not saying that you have to have a very professionally designed lead magnet at the start that also is not the point okay that's not the point by value why by value i mean the content what you're giving that is the thing it's not okay i would say it has to be like make me make it easy for them to understand it should be user friendly but at the same time i'm not focusing too much on how it is presented at this point but now that's uh, what i'm talking about is the value the content the solution you are giving the no, second yeah i think yeah. no, i really get that you know it's you know, obviously, what goes in it yes. is vital. Yeah, it's vital over design or anything like that. Any day, exactly. Exactly. Um, and I definitely need to be learning from you when it <laughs> when it comes to like lead magnets and stuff, because I've done lead magnets over the years, and I think it was one of my lead magnets did really well. Mm -hmm. um, but but you know, every time I do a lead magnet, it's just so much different. It's so mm -hmm. much. But you know, I keep trying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like it's a never-ending process. Some work, some doesn't. It's okay because yeah. we are learning, and we are learning your audience, their needs, and then you know, and life happens. Because one thing I'm, I'm slightly deviating from the formula is what worked last year might not work this year. Yeah. Because it's yeah. changing it's ever evolving so now let's come back to this formula so the value and and value alone is not enough it should be accompanied by action steps so this is again i have seen some fabulously written lead magnets but they are just content yes mm -hmm. but they are no action points so what happens is someone reads that and leaves it okay it's a good content but they don't take action so yeah. what, now it, nothing is happening is the equation stop there nothing happening further on because the value is there but no action so you have to prompt or rather make it very very visible uh, that they are taking action there needs to be some steps and solid suggestions so you take this action it should be action oriented yeah so, so that you will achieve this. Yes. Otherwise, it is value, and there is no without the action, the value is stagnant, and nothing is happening because the next thing is something teaching. Yes. So, yes. Yeah. As you said, teaching. You are teaching. If the student doesn't do anything, there is no point, right? <laughs> Abs. You know what? <clears throat> Absolutely. You, and it's even making me think about going for my own lead magnet as well. So. <laughs> So don't worry. It's like um, you know, it's so it's so true. You know, if you've got some value, you've got the action, then you have the transformation. 
Yes. That, that's ultimately going to lead to the result. Yes, and that will lead to the offer that you're selling. And you know, once they experience the result point, they got the transformation, they got the result, and they are getting it, and now they want more of the results, and they are ready to work with you. That is when that connection is built, and now it's all aligned, and they want to work with you. You don't have to even sell, because it's there. Oh, I see. I see that so much better now. Um, yes. because I take it then, if something's missing from that formula, that it's not going to go well. So, and there's not going to be a lot of sign-ups, and a lot of people won't be raving about the, you know, the freebie that you're offering. That's great. It doesn't really matter how many people sign up. That is one of the my big beliefs is unconditional giving. It's like what you give is going to come back to you multifold. So nothing you give is ever a waste. Okay. So yeah. even uh, if I Yes. So yeah. I will share a bit of my story again, backtracking a bit. That's you know, okay. I <laughs> I started, I told you, I started uh, my career as a school teacher. My son was born as a premature baby and I had to resign my teaching career and decide to become a stay-at-home mom. And But I had some, so many, uh, then eventually he got okay, but I had lots of time, but I also had depression um, and it was really, and my marriage was going through a really difficult time at that point. So it was like I was feeling that feeling of being at home, doing nothing, uh, restless and feeling worthless, literally. So I wanted to do something. And that's the search I went online. And that's when I found this money being online, money making things. And I fell into lots of scams because they are all out for your money. And it was in 2006, 2007 time that everything was new, like literally new. <laughs> like no one, I was, I can say I'm a pioneer, like in my place when I say um, no one used credit card to buy something. I used the credit card to buy my something if online, the scams, I bought the survey offers, all those things. So what yeah. happened is um, I was. Um, literally at a stuck point and then I downloaded a lead magnet by the guy named Rich Sheffron he's a business coach a very famous business coach right now he's right now uh, coaching billionaires uh, yes. so uh, at that point he um, released an uh, lead bag or PDF thing online business manifesto so that was a little bit like a uh, a guidebook about online entrepreneurs, what exactly makes an entrepreneur, what's different and how to strategically position yourself. That was exactly what was in that. And that gave me a direction in my business. So it was really, I can say, the start of my online business career. So I eventually became the digital marketing consultant working on the SEO. I, my first thing was SEO. That was my one thing at that point. That direction came from that lead magnet. And I couldn't work with him because I didn't have the money at that point. And then I started making money. He became very expensive. Now he's like, uh, now also very expensive. At one point I you know, made a promise to myself, one day I will work with him. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. yes. Keep that promise. Yeah. You will. Yes. yes. So the thing I want to share with you is this. So my life changed because of the lead magnet. That's okay. Neat. And again, my in the last five years, my husband is working. I'm the breadwinner for my family. So my family and the you know is directly impacted by that person because his what the lead magnet was, I got the direction, I started this business, everything that followed is because of that lead magnet. So can you or envision the impact that lead magnet has in my life, in my family's life, in my client's life, because that is what the start of everything, like I'm giving them this value because of that. So it's created that ripple effect. That lead changed your life. Yes. Yes. So your lead magnet, that is what I want to share with you. Each one of you is watching this. Your lead magnet has the potential to change lives. That is why that you can feel the goosebumps coming in. Your lead magnet can change lives. Their, their lives, their family's life, their client's life, it's creating that ripple effect. And you are changing the world with one person at a time through that lead magnet, if I can say so. Yes. <laughs> 
I think that is just so beautiful. Oh. You know what? You know that you you know you went through because many women go through those those times. You know, we we have children, we feel really down and lonely, and all these kind of things going on, and we seek. You know, we seek for, you know, happiness, better times, better things. Yeah. Um, we do fall into, you know, little scams and stuff of whatever's going on while we're seeking. But then we find something that, you know, that's helping us, that's, you know, enabling us to move forward and gain better. And I think, you know, and I think what's happened to you is amazing. It can help many other women as well. So yeah. Happy. You never think of a lead magnet in that way, do you? Like giving yeah. you freedom. Yeah. Exactly. Lead magnet way. People just think of it as, you know, oh, it's just another PDF or, you know, whatever. Yeah. No one has it that could actually change your life. Yes, that's the thing. That's, you know, that's my life. And I didn't, when I cha- uh, started working for the lead magnets, I didn't even realize it. Only when I started working on my mission, my story, I will be very honest here. And oh, I, I started, oh my God, that's how it all started. And I ended up with the lead magnet thing. It's like like the life happening and you are destined to be that kind of a divine thing. <laughs> but that, that's beautiful. It's like um, divine timing. Yes, exactly. Yes. That was, yes. That was meant to happen. That was meant yes. to happen. 